The next option is what we call the belly band. You're gonna see a lot of females love to use this option. Hey guys, Ken with Smith & Wesson, and today we're gonna to talk about alternate carry positions. Now, we say alternate carry positions because we've already covered the two most popular carry positions, and that's strong side and appendix carry. You can check that video out here. In this video, though, we're gonna talk about some alternatives to that. Let's get started. We're gonna start with, say, small of the back. Now, when we're talking about the small of the back, you're gonna have your pistol in a holster and it's gonna literally be at the small of your back. What's wonderful about carrying at the small of the back is it gets it off of your visual waistline. What I mean by that is people that know where to look for a firearm are not gonna see a gun on your strong side or appendix. It's gonna be in the small of your back. The next carry position that I would like to talk about is carrying on your ankle. This was in fact the first carry position that I ever used when I first started carrying a gun. I just didn't really feel comfortable with carrying a gun on my waistline. I felt a lot more comfortable with carrying it on my ankle. It's a great option. The next option is what we call the belly band. You're gonna see a lot of females love to use this option. It allows them to continue to wear the yoga pants or whatever it is that you would like to uh, wear. But with the belly band, it goes around your belly. You're usually able to accommodate left hand or right hand shooters, and you can also accommodate spare magazines. Really love this option. The next option is what we call off-body carry. And what that means is you're carrying a gun still, but it's just not on your body. It'll be in something like this, purse like this one from Smith & Wesson, or like a sling bag or a messenger bag that you'll see in the market. What's wonderful about it is, for me personally, I love the off-body carry option because I can wear my basketball shorts and just a t-shirt, especially now because it's getting a little warm but I can still have my firearm with me, but I can be very, very comfortable. It's an excellent, excellent option. And remember, regardless of what option you pick, it's extremely important that you practice. You need to practice with your firearm, but also practice with the given method that you plan on carrying it in. It's extremely important. What's wonderful about it though, is that you can do every bit of it dry. We call it dry fire, which means it requires no ammunition. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and for more information, check the description below.